Uh, my name is Teru Kuwayama. Uh, the simple answer on what I do is I'm a photographer. Uh, it seems though that I've been doing a lot less photography lately and I'm doing a lot more research and organizing projects and um, I guess I'm more focused now on what to do with the photography than, than making the photography, although I still do that. Okay, great. And you'll tell me a bit about your background and how that's informed what you do. Um, well, I've spent most of the past 10 years uh, traveling and photographing and primarily in Afghanistan and Pakistan, Kashmir, um, Iraq also, but primarily in Central and South Asia. Um, I kind of started as a backpacker wandering around India and Nepal, and at some point uh, I was trying to make my way to Tibet, and I took a detour, ended up in Kabul, and uh, I thought I'd be there for a couple of weeks, and that turned into about nine years. So, hence, uh, that's where I am now. <laughs> <laughs> and what is it that you're, uh, you're presenting to uh, TED this week? Um, well, the project that I'm working on now um, is a sort of, a, I don't know how to describe it because I don't know if it's ever been done, but it's basically a, a networked embed where um, usually the way embeds work is a, a journalist will be put into a military unit for a short time and then they come out, some other journalist from some other publication goes in um, and it's a kind of revolving door. Um, what we're doing this time is uh, I've uh, worked at this arrangement with the Marine Battalion um, where they're going to give us about three slots and so we'll have a uh, small crew in there and we'll be there with them for the entire tour. Um, once in a while some of us will go out to visit our families um, and then we'll put other people in also. And so the idea is that we're going to have a sort of a diversity of perspective but we're also going to have continuity and that everybody's going to be building on the, the work that the people before them have done so it's not the kind of the same sort of repetitive shallow stories that uh, that the current system seems to produce a lot. Okay, and you're also working with uh, sort of social media, is that right? Yeah, um, well, my brother and I uh, built um, a network uh, for travelers a few years ago. It was originally it was designed for people working in conflict areas, so uh, was journalists, aid workers, um, mercenaries, basically. I mean, anybody, anybody who was off in these odd places. And it was a way of trading real-time information for, in places where there was absolutely no, um, no other uh, resources. And uh, that's really become its a photojournalist network. Um, but for this project, what we're doing is we're using sort of existing off-the-shelf uh, social media project, uh, products. We don't really want to code anything ourselves. And part of the, way we're, the reason we're doing this is to show that other people could do it also. Um, and that's kind of, I would say that's the sort of the, the revolution in, in the publishing industry of this time, you know, used to be that to be a publisher, to publish a newspaper, you need an incredible amount of infrastructure. But these days on a, on a web-based system, almost anybody can, can do this and you can actually do it with absolutely no money. So that's the sort of thing that we're trying to sort of uh, prototype and uh, encourage other people to do. Okay, great. And um, what effects are you hoping that your, your work is going to have? Um, well, this, sorry, this particular project is um, with, it's a, with the U.S. Marine Battalion that's based in southern Afghanistan. Um, and this year is, I think, fairly pivotal. pivotal because it's running up into the July 2011 date where uh, President Obama has said that U.S. forces are going to start withdrawing from Afghanistan. So I think it's a pivotal year and it's also the place where we're going uh, as, uh, in Helmand. A lot of British troops are there too. It's been the scene of some of the nastiest fighting and it also happens to be the source of about half of the world's poppy supply. So it's going to be an interesting way to see, one, how they deal with that, and also particularly how this new counterinsurgency uh, push is being executed. Because I think, um, I think the public hears this word counterinsurgency over and over and over again. I would guess that probably 99% of the people who hear the word have no idea what it means. So um, this is a way of kind of unpacking counterinsurgency and also sort of looking at the entire military mission through the experience of one battalion.